So, we're doing a different warm-up protocol now. Um, some of you guys have been following know that I'm five weeks out now, and my lower back has actually been giving me quite a bit of trouble. Um, not like the pain from previous years where it like locked me up, but um, interestingly, it would always kind of be at the top of the movement, and I'd get like a real sharp pain in my right side of my lower back. So we adjusted, we modified several things, and basically what we've found has been working for the last few weeks in terms of keeping my pain low enough is it doesn't appear to be weight dependent. It doesn't appear to be um, exercise dependent so much as it is total number of reps dependent. So literally, if I did you know 20 reps with 135, I'd probably be pretty flared up by the end of it. So what we're doing now is I am just doing singles on my competition lifts, even for the warm-ups. And then we're moving and building volume through other movements that uh, I can do a little bit more reps on with much lower pain and discomfort. And that has been working the last couple weeks and I've been progressively getting better. So hopefully by the last few weeks where things are getting really tough, you know, I'll get the chance to really go hard and push and, uh, and be able to recover from that. So, um, you know, it's, it's easy to get caught up in like, oh, you know, it's not the way I want to prep for the meet. It's not perfect. It is what it is. So I'm going to do what I can do with the tools I've got right now, where I am, put the work in, and trust the process and trust that the outcome will be there at the end. So today we got a heavy deadlift single on tap. Let's get it. So as I get heavier and the rep number goes up, like that last rep, just a little bit of discomfort. So now I'm gonna slow down, take a little bit longer rest between sets, and I find that that tends to kind of bring the discomfort down a little bit. And then, uh, you know, obviously, we'll hit the sets left that we have, so. One of the things I love about this app from my bar velocity unit is I can go and I can filter my history by tags. So I tag all my warm up sets. So I can go back and look and say, okay, last time, um, last time I hit this weight, how fast was it comparatively? And what did I end up doing at the top set? So I can actually use it to kind of auto regulate my programming. So this week that was a 0.21, last week it was a 0.18, and actually this was 10 pounds heavier, so that's looking good. Everybody watching, I guess I'm about to get it, right? Let's go to work! Let's go, baby. I'll take that. Just because you guys were watching, I had to hit it then. If you weren't watching, I would have totally missed. Can you tell I love this shit? A little bit. I've been to a lot of therapies. This is the best one. It's not even close. So that 640 was faster than 620 last week. So now we're backing off. So again, for the competition lift, 
I'm just doing single to keep that stimulus high but fatigue low. Um, my, my coach and physical therapist, we think some of this back pain is actually triggered just by fatigue. So after we finish here, we'll do two more singles at 575, which is about 90% of what I just hit. And then we'll go over and do some lower volume work uh, on the deadlift machine actually has been feeling pretty good for me. Again, not ideal, but you know, we're gonna do a blunt force, we're gonna blunt force trauma our way to worlds. So now the, the focus is making sure that I stay tight and engaged even though the weight is light. Because this is actually where you can have some um, aggravation of pain is by letting yourself get lax because you know it's lighter. So I'm really gonna try and stay engaged and drive this thing up uh, with some force. feel like I got a little bit loose on that one, so I'm gonna really focus on a lot more tightness in my core. A lot of people think about arching the lower back. I'm sorry. But you can arch your lower back as much as you want. If you don't brace your core, you're gonna fold over because this is what protects your lower back and counterbalances you. I mean, if you think about when you're trying to pull, whether it's conventional or sumo, you're the path of least resistance is this. So, what is stopping you from that, this, and these? So, at the start of the movement, it's this that's holding you in place. And if you don't get your core tight, you're just gonna come up. So, I really try to think about not arching my lower back, but just getting as tight as I possibly can here, like somebody's gonna punch me in the stomach. So I'd say that's just about perfect. I, uh, my back, kind of like pain and discomfort wise, kind of peaked out at my last warm up set. And then didn't really get worse on my next two. That one, I kind of felt like a little bit more discomfort. So I think the dosage is right right now. Let's roll. Four sets of 10 now on this, and that was pretty easy. I'm not locking out fully because it's the lockout where I get some triggering of those symptoms. So I'm just trying to work it through as full a range of motion as I can, doing kind of an RDL style. Again, we're just trying to build some load with low symptoms. So not perfect. Ideally, I'd be doing actual deadlifts. But again, I can try and ruminate about the fact that I can't do it the way I want to do it or the perfect way to do it, or we can just shut up and get to work. So I choose to shut up and get to work. As the t-shirt says, or the slogan says, nobody cares, work hard. <laughs> Thank you.
five weeks. Can't wait. All right, guys, that's it. Just under five weeks out from Worlds, four weeks and six days, and uh, I'm nervous, but I'm very excited. Um, that went as well as I could have possibly hoped. I mean, two weeks ago, I did 600, and it felt horrible. Um, like a lot of discomfort. I was uncomfortable, like for days afterwards, and I started like having these thoughts come in my head, like you're not gonna make it to Worlds, your body's gonna betray you again. And I consciously made an effort to counter that and tell myself, no, I am strong, I am resilient. My body has been through so much and still come out the other side and I will get through this. We will find a way. And this was a big, big, big confidence boost for me. So. Still got a lot of kilos I got to add to the bar if I want to win, but uh, I'm feeling much better after this session. And uh, like I said, the pain, it got to a certain level, never got worse, and uh, we're done. So I know like every week for the last two weeks, I have progressively felt better at each individual checkpoint for that week. So again, I'm feeling much more positive, and uh, you know, whenever I, get frustrated or, you know, start like, you know, get a little hopeless. I just keep reminding myself what I've been through and I keep, as cheesy as it sounds, I just keep repeating what my daughter asked me and she said, are you going to try to be a world champion again? And uh, whenever I feel frustrated and like want to give into that frustration, I just think about that. So now I'm starting to get excited and uh, I can't wait to see what I'm going to do. Now, I do have an exciting announcement. We have a brand new program on the Workout Builder, written by me. It's a four-day program. It is a hybrid program, which is a power build, meaning you're doing big, heavy compounds, but you're also combining that with a lot of hypertrophy work. So, if you want to look strong, be strong, put on muscle, there's a great combo program where you get both of those worlds. The program's a lot of fun, very challenging, so go click the link in the description and check it out.